Hello everybody, today we're going to talk Zamac. You might call him Zamac, I call him Zamac. There's probably an official term for him. Problem is when you're, when most of your knowledge comes through the internet, you don't know how to pronounce everything. So let's just go with Zamac because that's what I say. Um, we're going to talk about the Walmart exclusives. We now have 54 Walmart exclusive Zamac models and that's going to grow in 2016. Um, we have three models coming in batch E, which will be out in the next couple of weeks. And um, and then we will, I assume, have another 18. They come out uh, every other batch, starting with batch E each year, and they're exclusive to Walmart. And um, I enjoy collecting them. Anyway, uh, Walmart has always had some exclusives, at least the last few years. Before the Zamax, there were the just the color exclusives. This is one of them, probably the the most famous of the Walmart exclusives. This is the satin red Bugatti Veyron. This is my favorite version of the Bugatti. And back in the day, you could find it just about at any store without any problem. And uh, obviously that's changed now. And this is a highly, highly desired model. But there were plenty of colors. I really don't know how many they did each year um, because I didn't pay much attention. And frankly, I'm lucky I have this one. But uh, since the, they started doing the Zamax, I've really enjoyed collecting them. Sometimes they're harder to find than others. They're not totally consistent on releasing them. But um, through some perseverance, I've been able to collect all of them. So they've done Zamax before. I don't know the first time, but I believe in 2004, they did, um, they did a special convention set. Um, and then that I think ended up being really rare. And then also they did, a, that might have been 2003, then they did a 2004 um, exclusives that intermixed into uh, the normal batches. I don't think it was exclusive to Walmart. And then occasionally they'll just throw a couple out there. This Ferrari is from the Speed Machines line and it's a Zamac model uh, unpainted with uh, with tables. It wasn't a special edition but uh, it ended up being kind of a hard one to to come by just because they were it was towards the end of the line with the Speed Machines. So you'll see them occasionally. You'll even see them with Matchbox. Um, there's been a few Ford GT, Shelby Cobra, a few others like that that I remember. Um, but they'll just pop in here and there. I think there's actually one out of one of the uh, farm equipment matchbox models of the Zamac now. Um, anyway, there's now 54. And we're going to walk through them real quick. Um, just so you can kind of see them. I'm just going to do one angle on them. Um, starting with the 2013, they're released in threes. And... Um, and they, uh, like I said, in batch E normally, and then every other, is it every other batch or every third batch? I guess I probably should have done the math uh, beforehand. But typically they are, um, typically they are, you know, only found in the, uh, the dump bins. I guess there's probably the occasion where a case is put up and they're in there. Um, there have been some repeats that Camaro I just showed, I think there's been a second one of that. We've had several Skylines. This is still 2013. This is the R34 Skyline. Not several Skylines. There's been two. They also did the Hakoska Skyline. This is one of the repeats. The C10. Or is this a C10? I don't know what they call this one. Custom 69 Chevy. Uh, one will show up in the next year. Um, Corvette. I don't know, you'll start seeing this Camaro, the various versions of the Camaro show up more and more and more um, throughout the uh, throughout the series. But, um, and maybe you guys have some favorites and I would love to see what you post what your favorites are. Here's one of mine that I thought was great, was the Volkswagen. And I don't, yeah, both sides of that one. This one I always thought was a little unique. Um, the Nurburgring Mustang. You'll see several Mustangs as well. Now, usually, well not usually, they tend to just kind of pick from everything when they make them Zamac models. Sometimes they're first editions like that Mustang and this Ferrari F12. This was a first editions model. Um, other times it's just recolors. Sometimes they're a little bit different, but normally they, um, they get the exact same tempo treatment only different colors. That uh, 240Z came in several variations. Um, I could get into it. Maybe that's time for another video. But um, it seemed like they were trying to figure out how to do all of the uh, the different tampo prints. And um, 
several several versions end up getting released. That's another story for another time. This la this is the last batch of 2013. These three: the Firebird, the Lamborghini, and the uh, Ford pickup. I had a hard time finding this one. Thankful thankfully to some collectors, I was able to get my hands on it. Here's the first batch of 2014. Starting with the Dodge Daytona, then the first version of the Copa Camaro. That's that's actually marked a 2014, if I'm correct. Yeah, 2014, and then it gets released a little bit later with a now 2013. I'm assuming that was a request of um, Chevy to do Chevy Opala or the SS, as they call it. Another Camaro. That was also a first edition's recolor. A86 Corolla. And then a very big Chevy Silverado. As we start moving through 2014. And you can see Italian cars, Japanese cars, obviously American classics. New, old, Mustang, Camaro, Corvette, Rancheros. Sometimes you'll see this was also a super treasure hunt. And then obviously they haven't done Zamex super treasure hunts, but these are recolors of cars that got the super treasure hunt treatment. This one is one of my favorites. The Chevelle wagon with the Hearst tampo on it. There's your repeat. 69 Chevy. So one in 2014, one in 2013. I believe there's another one we'll get to it. Lincoln. There's another one that was a super treasure hunt before it was a Zamac. The Chevelle SS. This might be the most popular or most sought after Zamac. Now there's variations on this one as well. Like I said, the 240Z has, and this one also had a roll cage. I have that in my collection somewhere. I'd have to pull that out. But the Okoska Skyline is probably the most sought after. But that tends to go with all Japanese cars right now. Mustang. Another Mustang. And this is that Mustang and the Twin Mill 2. And the Moon Eyes, which is, we need to see more of these Moon Eyes in the, in the Zamek Deco. Um, that's the final batch of 2014. And we move on to 2015. Thankfully, the majority of the Zamek models are licensed cars. This is not one of them. Um, this is the first batch of 2015, which was the E-Case. And if you remember... The E-cases were actually slow to arrive because of a harbor dispute, a um, labor dispute at L.A. Harbor. And many of these E-cases ended up just being stored away and never made it to stores until lately. I was able to find these three, the first three Zamax of 2015, over the Christmas holiday. And I think a lot of you had the same experience. So this El Camino... Well, even these were hard to find. This uh, Lamborghini, they didn't show up in very many places either, at least was my experience. And sometimes some of the batches were full of one or two models, and the third one was hard to find. That Lamborghini was one of them. All right, here's another repeat. There's your 2013 Copa Camaro, and your 2014 yeah, don't, don't, no, I won't try and explain that, but uh, it's the same casting at least. But the bases are different, and I, because it's black, I think it'd be hard to show. But one says 2014, and one says 2013. Here's a model that I don't have much of an opinion on, but it just does look good with the pink. First Porsche Zamek. I wonder if we'll see another one of these with the 993 and 934. It seems like a logical Zamek. 
Austin minivan. A little more Brazilian love with the Brazilian charger. And then this one, which I thought was another unlicensed, but really good choice for a Zamac model. As you can see, I don't know, I'd have to go back and count, but that's maybe one or two, maybe three with the Purple Passion, but that's based on a real car, so. Um, Mercury Cougar. Supervan, another real popular Zamac last year was the Honda Civic. And then the last three, which were also somewhat hard to come by, at least in my area, and this seemed to be a regional thing. Some people had no problem finding these. Other people, other areas did, but uh, finally was able to come across. This is the last batch of 2015. Finishing up with what I would call a very bonkers version of the 55 Bel Air Gasser. So those are all of them. Um, lots of good ones out there. It's totally worth collecting. And I would say right now, it's probably not that hard to acquire all of them. I, I would contact um, friends and uh, fellow collectors via Instagram or other ways if there are some you don't have. But I think it's one of the more fun lines to collect. And, uh, and like I said, I don't think any, besides if you were trying to get into like the variations and stuff, I don't think there's any of them that are terribly hard to get. And you can get all 54 fairly easy. So anyway, good luck. There's going to be a new batch out real soon. Look for them soon. Bye.